I'm with Apostle uh, Sharonda, and we are going to talk about uh, prophetic prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, before we start, can we kindly pray? I know we are in a, our different places. We are in our houses. You know, sometimes you're discouraged. Sometimes you, you really don't feel like it. But I want us to start our, our night tonight uh, with a word of prayer. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you tonight. We give all the praise. We give all the honor. What a good God you are. We thank you, Father, for this meeting. We thank you, Father. God, we thank you, Father, for all the ladies who came in, Almighty God. We pray that, Lord, you speak to them. We pray that you encourage us, O God, through your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen, ladies. Um, Amen. Amen. Our, our topic tonight, like I said, is prophetic prayer. The main scripture, we find it in Proverbs 18, 21, which says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that mm -hmm. love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. As, as women, um, Hallelujah. tonight, I, 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 I believe as we are going to be listening to the word of God, uh, we are going to be encouraged to pray prophetically. Hallelujah. The Bible says death and life are in the power of our tongue. So we can pray prophetically. We can declare things, you know, to come to pass. Hallelujah. And, you know, as, as, as women, we are incubators. You know, we, 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 we incubate children. We incubate uh, certain things in, 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 in naturally. But tonight, we are going to learn how to do it as spiritual. Hallelujah. We are going to learn how to give birth you know, spiritual, how we are going to pray, we are going to learn how to pray prophetically, we are going to learn how to declare and declare the word of God and ask God for anything that we desire to come to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to welcome Apostle Sharonda tonight, just to introduce herself and um, to tell us how she has been how she has been coping even in this uh, lockdown. I guess they're not done in, <laughs> in, 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 in Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, um, uh, Pastor Precious. I call her Pastor P. Um, I, again, I am Sharonda, um, Apostle Sharonda Cross. Uh, I um, am grateful for the opportunity to come on tonight. Just to say a little bit, I um, really prayed about what did God want me to say? Um, what can I add to what you guys have already been doing? And how can I talk about this subject and really leave something that's going to be a great impartation and push you forward? Um, I have um, been a part of um, Apostle Proof's church here in Cleveland for quite some time. Um, I am one of his daughters and newly ordained as an apostle within the last year. Um, have gone through many changes. Got recently remarried, had a had another baby. So if you hear a noise in the back, my, my daughter is um in the back making some noises. Um it's it's about 110 here, so it's just about nap time for her, but she's not going to sleep right now. Um we've been doing okay um during this time. Um I also have a seven-year-old son, and um more than this time, more than more than anything, I, I really had to stand on what God said what what God promised me, what he had already declared over my life. Because when you look around um, with everything that's been going on, it's been so much loss, so much death, so much heartache, so much despair. So many things have been going on. I've had to um, spend a lot of time meditating and declaring the word over our own lives, over the promises that God has said, over manifestations, over, over pretty much over all of those things. So that's going to kind of be what I'm going to talk about in the aspects of um, prophetic prayer tonight. Um, God, so I am a teacher by profession. So I actually teach high school. So most of the times when I minister, I am um, all about kind of like a call and response. Now, Pastor Precious did tell me that um, uh, I had free, free reign to flow as I move. 
So one of the things about the gift that I have as a walking as an apostle, you, I, I do flow in the in the in the fivefold. So and you are the you flow as a pastor, prophet, evangelist, teacher. So you you kind of are all of those things um, at the same time si simultaneously. So um, at times when a prophetic utterance comes, I may start operating in the word of knowledge. So that's going to be something I'm going to talk about briefly tonight or, or the word of wisdom. So um, God's desire and God's design for us, especially in this season that we're in now, as the world has shifted, as the world has changed. I've heard people say many times the world will never be what it, um, what it has been previously. And so in that time, I believe God is, God is really teaching us to, um, use strategy to use insight to use wisdom of how to navigate through this place and the scripture that uh, uh, pastor uh, precious chose i thought is so on point because it, it's so easy to in the midst of difficulty in the midst of crisis it's so easy to speak against your season it's so easy to say man i can't wait till this is over with how long is this gonna go on uh, it's so it's so easy to be negative or to or to fall into despair or to fall into hopelessness. But, but that's a part of the prophetic also. The prophetic um, speaks hope. The prophetic speaks life. The prophetic um, inspires. It encourages. It gives that extra boost when you feel that, okay, Lord, I didn't, you know, not that I haven't read your word, not that I haven't believed you, not that I haven't, you know, stood in faith, but it just gives me that little extra boost to, um, uh, push me even further. So um, bear with me. I'm not sure the time uh, of the time that I have, but she instructed me just to flow. So, so she knows me very well. I, I may start ministering and then I may start calling out someone's name. Now, some of the names are a little bit. So if I say it incorrectly, or if I say something that kind of, you just pick it up by the spirit. Um, but um, we do, we have something here uh, through our school of the prophet. So we have a lot of resources. So our, our apostle has like a whole curriculum on the school of the prophet. So we use a lot of stuff, uh, basically from his, from, from this material. So I, I've gone to the school of the prophets. I've learned how to prophesy, which there's a difference between when a person prophesies and when you are, um, and when you have the gift of prophecy, but being prophetic, the Bible says that um, God, all people are, are called to be prophetic, right? right? We're, we're all called to be prophetic. We're all called to um, uh, speak what God tells us to speak. We're all called to, that, called to that place of prayer. So one of the things God told me today to do is um, do some activations. I'm going to try to see how this works considering it's not really a, you know, we're, since we're further away, but we can still make it work. So this is also somebody who I also read too. He's a he's an artist. He I mean he's a he's a writer here too, and he's a apostle in um in Chicago, Illinois. Apostle John Eckhart, and he does a lot on the prophetic. And and this um part that I just wanted to read, I just wanted to um base some stuff with for right now. So it says, prayer is one of the ways we release the will of God upon the earth. We must study the word of God in order to know the will of God. This is why prayer and the word of God must be combined. We should pray with understanding. Understanding the will of God will help us pray correctly. The word of God is the will of God. We, we, we are not to be unwise. We are to understand that the will of, will of the Lord is. Prayer also helps us work perfectly and completely in all of the will of God. So again, prayer is so important, but there but there's another aspect of that when you talk about the prophetic. So, of course, we, so I'm going to follow the spirit of what he told me to do. So this is, this, this is what we're going to do, because it's kind of hard to teach in this aspect like, like this a little bit. So I'm going to follow what he told me to do. So one of the ways that, that the, the prophetic is stirred in me and, and in ways that we've been taught to is we pray in our heavenly language. So we begin to stir up the gift inside of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start praying. 
we're going to start praying in our heavenly language. Now, of course, mine is going to sound very different, just like, you know, yours would sound uh, in your own uh, dialect. And as you do that, God will give you utterance. So prophetic prayer is just basically that. When you begin to pray in the spirit, if it's one particular thing in aspect, so let's just say you're asking God about finances, you'll just begin to pray and then you, you will pray whatever specifically you hear and while you hear that, God may give you something else. So that's really, it's a, it's a bold kind of, um, how can I say? It's, it's a bold kind of declaration. So the best way for me to explain it is to demonstrate it. So we're going to pray in the spirit for a little bit, and then I'm going to just flow as God tells me to flow. Hopefully that makes sense because it is a little bit harder to navigate just, just a little bit. So we're going to pray in the spirit. So I'm going to pray in the spirit, and then I'm going to flow out of it. So I may flow in the word of knowledge. I may flow in the word of wisdom. So the word of knowledge is something that um, – it could be an idea. It could, it could be something that was previously unknown, but through prayer, it's been released. A word of wisdom could be if a person is, is asking for, let's just say, a, str a strategy or a solution to a problem, wisdom shows up to give you an answer. It could be um, comfort uh, if somebody is mourning. So this is also a part of the prophetic too. So did you hear how I said it could also be morning. So even, even when I got on, I sensed a very strong presence of somebody mourning. So it doesn't have to be for the loss of a child, which I don't know if that's, but so, so, so this is me because of the office that I stand in, I have the authority to prophetically declare some things. So as soon as I got on and I was scrolling through the thing, I began to see some things and this is how this, this is how this works. So I sense very strongly that someone was in a place of mourning. So God prophetically, when we stay, stay, stay tuned in to his voice and become very sensitive to his spirit, he'll, he'll give us things to help us. So right now, this is a part of my, as, as an apostle, but I also stand in the office of a prophet. Also, I have the authority. So there are certain things. This is, this is a part of the prophetic uh, you say what you hear, you say what you see, or you say what you sense in your spirit, man. So what did I say? When I first got on, I purposely, because a prophet is a watchman. So I'm always watching because that's just what I, <laughs> I can't help it. So I generally discern, try to discern what kind of atmosphere I am, the kind of people I am. So I can see where does God want me to hit the target at and to be very specific about what to say. So when I got on, I heard God, he said, someone in particular has gone through a season of mourning and they've been asking God questions about, um, not even, um, how to get out of this place, but it's been like, God, how, uh, where do I go from here? And it's almost like the enemy has kept you in this place of, um, he has like, he has like almost muzzled the person's mouth to the point that they've lost their joy. And so they're kind of just going through the motion right now, but God is telling them to rise up. So, so as you see, I didn't even have to start praying because of the fact that, again, we are all, we are all daughters of the most high. God said that we all can prophesy. We can all declare what the, the power of life and death is in my tongue. And because of the that God has given me, the authority that God has given you, he, he said that we have the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, right? So if we have authority to say things, what the Bible says, we can speak to the mountain and the mountain shall, shall be that removed. We have the authority to speak it. So that's a, that's a part of the prophetic. That's a part of, I mean, that's, that's a part of that prophetic is that, is that boldness, kind of tenacious um, um, attitude. The Bible says, if you decree and declare a thing, it shall be established. But you could tell the level of authority that went for me just praying, right? Not that that's wrong, but the prophetic brings that extra fire that, that kind of um, brings clarity. It's kind of cut point. You get what I'm saying? So whoever that is for, we'll get to that in a minute. But that's, that's kind of how the prophetic works. B because I, I already, before I got on, I told God, 
I, I want my spirit to be very open to hear what you say. So I'm going to say what I hear. I'm going to say what I see. And I'm going to say what I sense in my spirit. So um, that's a part of the prophetic. So does that, so is everybody clear, clear, clear with that? Does that make sense? Amen. So we're fine with that. Okay. Amen. So um, we're going to pray um, in the spirit. And then, so, okay, God said, go back. So again, a part of the prophetic, like I said, the prophetic prayer is you just generally just pray. We've been taught to pray in the spirit to start to uh, and encourage your spirit, start to bubble forth your spirit, start to really get in tune with the frequency of God's voice to really discern what he's saying. And we all have it. I just, you know, I believe sometimes because of the things that we've gone through because of um, the level of trauma we go through and I've gone through a lot of trauma in my life. I've gone through a lot of suffering. I've gone through a lot of hardship. So I never really understood who I was. I never really understood. People will always say, man, you're such a small person. But then when you get to praying, you have a, there's a, you, you turn into this other person when you start praying. And I never, God began to unlock that part of me as I began to understand who I was. And so God is saying tonight, he wants, he wants you to know, every person on here, that you have that in you, but God wants to unlock that so that so that you can move forward in this place of victory. It's been, man, this has been a hard season. And I tell you, I, I've had to literally pray in tongues and weep before the Lord just to get through some things. You get, you get what I'm saying? But I, but I know that my prayers, when I pray God's word back to him, when I believe what he said, when I obey what he said, He's going to meet me every time. Doesn't mean that he's going to fix it right away, but, it, it, but it, it means that he's going to work it out for my good. And so um, it's a stretch for some people because sometimes we get to this, uh, and I've taught classes before, people feel like they're not worthy enough to be in a place where they um, pray prophetically because Sometimes we think, oh, that's only reserved for people who are prophets or people who are in the ministry. No, no, no. You are a child of God. You are a daughter of Zion. And therefore, you have an anointing to pray. We all, God has called us all to pray. What does it say? Men are to always pray. So he called, he called everybody to pray. He called children to pray. He's called everybody to pray. So I just wanted to encourage that part of that. And this is all talking about the same thing if... Um, Sometimes we can make prophetic prayers seem like it's a it's a um, intangible thing, I guess you can say, or, or or make it seem like it's more than it really is. When God is saying it's accessible to you, it's accessible to you, just like my my son is a, is accessible to you. Everything that my son possesses in him, everything you have it. What what did he say? God said, "I have given you all things that pertain to life and godliness." So when you have the Holy Spirit. When, when you um, are born again, when you uh, are in covenant, you are in relationship, you have the authority to do that. But God sometimes has to peel back the layers so that he can reveal us to us, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pray. Um, Apostle, uh, <laughs> Pastor P, I'm not sure how much time I have. So, so please let me know. Like I've, one, one of the last times that we got together, when I saw her, she'll tell you. I ministered to, to her and Apostle Cabela, which I love Apostle Cabela for, was it like two hours? And we were just talking and the Lord was just pouring out oil, like, man, just pouring out oil. It was just so amazing. So that's a part of the prophetic. She says, I do it. Pe people just say, I do it so naturally. I don't have to go out, you know, into some crazy convulsion or whatever necessarily. It just, it just flows naturally out of me. So even when I begin to say I was going to pray, but then I kind of diverted. That's where the spirit told me to go. So I am going to pray. And, and then we're just going to see how the Lord begins to speak. Is that all right? Can I get thumbs up? Can I get a, I'm with you. Okay. 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 So we're going to pray in our heavenly language. I'm going to pray because God told me to pray specifically about things for the ministry. And he just told me to pray. So I'm going to pray. Uh, I may, after I stop praying in tongues, I may pray for, Pastor P, I don't know. 
I'm just going, um, sorry, someone was calling me. I thought I, I thought I, I muted my phone. Um, I'm just going to flow. So let's just pray in our heavenly language so we can get really, really sensitive to what the Lord is, um, wants to do tonight. Personally, I want you to have a spirit of expectation that whatever's been in your heart, whatever, whatever silent petitions you've had before God, whatever things that have been hidden, whatever things that have been obscure, whatever things have been difficult, whatever things have been um, just hard, that God is going to give you an answer. God is going to strengthen you. God is going to encourage you. And, and that's what prophetic prayer does. It literally like pr provides another lifeline, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pray um, in the spirit, and we're going to move forward. Um, Moramasi la nasho raba kosi tana na besi anda raba koso to raba kose tana lebe kashi to raba koha de kandi aso to raba mashi talama ha de kandoro so raba kashi telebe koso to raba kashi ta rebe koso to raba shi tana mahari aso to maha raba kosi telebe kandi de sho to raba kisa na na maha rebe umnashi na maha. Rabaki Satalambia Sondo Rabaha Yanamaki Ramasita Lebeko Rabasita Yanamako Rabakasa and that oh, so, so I hear the spirit of the Lord saying and that day so Rabaka Sita Debehe. He said, Daughters, de 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 ko shoto rabaka. He said, I've come to give you answers. De 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 sho rabaka sita lebeka hande soto rabasita de beko sota. He said, Some people have um so this is a word of this is this is a word of knowledge and this is a word of wisdom. The Lord said some people have been really struggling with their level of commitment in this season. God has been requiring some things of some people, and you've kind of had one foot kind of one way, and and you've kind of been on the other side. God is saying. I have been stirring this yes for, for, for quite some time in people. He said, not just uh, because of uh, ministry or whatnot. God saying there are specific things that I, I've told you, that you've asked me for, that you've prayed about, that you've even wept before me in. And a lot of people, God said, have been silently disappointed. And if they even had to be honest, they've been, dis they've been depressed because that was a feel that God has promised has not come to pass. So they've kind of given up in their spirit, like, yeah, I believe what you're saying, but I'm not really doing too much more of what you're saying. And God is saying at this moment, I need you to hear my voice because you're at a, you're at a crossroads for where you're going. God said he is requiring in this season, a different yes. He is requiring, he is requiring not only submission to what leadership says he said but he said i'm requiring submission to what i say so prime example god said there's been um some people who have been not now this is a word of knowledge too god said some people have been complaining about their weight god i want to lose weight i don't like how i look i don't like my body i don't like certain things about about me i don't like that i don't like my job i don't like certain I, I hear a lot of complaints, but the Lord said, you have the power to change it. So the scripture that says what the life, the power of life and death is in the tongue. You have the power to change it. If you, if you don't like this, do it. He said, there's been, um, in particular, some people, he said, I told you to fast more often. I told you to push that plate away too, so often and you didn't listen, but then you, but then you didn't like it, but then you complain about your weight. You complain about things that you don't like, but then there's, there are specific instructions that I've given you that you kind of did, you know, we, we've all, all done it. I've been there. We've all done it. We've kind of dismissed it or, or we kind of say, well, God's not talking to me. Yeah. He's talking to you about that because he said he wants you to be whole. He wants you to be perfected in every area of your life so that you can fully live out your destiny. 
God said there are, um, so in addition to that, the fasting part, God said, um, there are certain aspects of your life that I've called for you to have balance and order in. And you can't figure out why your life is so chaotic. And you like, things are not going my way. You feel like you've been in a season of lack and a season where things just constantly slip through your hands. It's, it seems like things, things don't, things don't, don't, things don't stay, uh, things don't stick. But then it seems like there are times when you start something. So, so this is, this is, this is, a, this is moving in the same path with something else where um you start something but then you don't finish so then you keep getting frustrated because you like god has given you so many ideas so many vision you are an entrepreneur at heart you are a businessman at heart god says some people on here i told you to write books you have books inside of you you have treasures inside of you there's things that i told you to do and you are discouraged and you are literally you have li literally given up in place. You're still physically there, but you've given up in your inward man of you stop that, stop that same zeal. You, you stop that same pursuit. You stop that same place. So now you feel like you, you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. But God said tonight, he came to set you free. So what did I just say? The prophetic, as I began to pray in the spirit, those things came came out of the spirit. Apostle, uh, I keep calling her Apostle. Well, she is. Pastor Precious never told me anything about anyone. I, could, I probably couldn't even pronounce names or anything else. But, I, but I, I can guarantee some people would probably say, and she would probably say, that's confirmation to a lot of things that are going on. Um, but it was because I pray in the spirit and I let, and I really opened my spirit up to be able to hear what I say. You say what you hear say what you see and say what you sense. I, I allow God to say that mm -hmm. through me. So uh, like I said, the word of knowledge comes through prophetic prayer, the word of wisdom. Mm -hmm. But God said, so this, is a, this would be a prophetic prayer. Mm -hmm. um, from, this day, from this day forward, says God, you shall, daughters, you shall walk higher. He said, I am. Um, so I'm going to do it two, twofold ways. I can't, I'm going to start praying in the spirit again, and then I'm going to pray in English, but I'm going to make some declarations at, at, at the same time, just to show you what it looks like in comparison to what I just, what I just released. Because also whenever a person who's a, a, a prophet or a person who is an apostle releases prophetic words and things like that, you are to build people up. So God, God, God reveals things so that we can heal, but he also desires for things to be broken off of us to be, to be built up. So I'm going to build at the, at the same time, if that makes sense. So Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your women, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given them the, the spirit of a finisher, Lord God. God, we come against the enemy on every hand, Lord God. You said that the enemy is already stripped of his weapons. He is rendered helpless and ineffective, Lord God. So we come against every trick, every scheme, every plot of the enemy, every hidden agenda, every, every secret um, uh, ass assignment that he's brought to bring forth your people, God. We speak now to the spirit of discouragement. You have no place in your people. We speak that from this day forward, you will rise up, daughter. You will take your place. We thank you, Lord God, that faith is being renewed even, even now, Lord God. You said that the spirit of, uh, that the, that the uh, times of refreshing are upon your people. So we speak even now, Lord God. We come against even now, Lord God. Every place where the enemy has um, told the person to give in silently and to give up silently, we speak a fresh wind of refreshing. We speak a new, um, we speak new direction. We speak clarity, Lord God. We, we come against um, uh, the places where the enemy has stopped their ears to not hear clearly, Lord God. We speak clarity in, into the atmosphere, Lord God. We cover them with the blood of the lamb, Lord God. We come against 
the, the spirit of fear, Lord God, that tells your, tells your people that their efforts have not um, been enough, Lord God, where some people have been trying as hard as they can, but they have been so hard on their own selves and the enemy has tried to accuse them. We know that the enemy is an accuser of the brethren, but Lord God, but we speak, Lord God, you said, no weapon formed against them shall prosper and every lion tongue that rises up against them shall they shall condemn it so we speak lord god that you will unmuzzle their mouths in this season lord god we speak forth that you will you will put back uh vigor and zeal and fire lord god god we speak even now lord god for the place of prayer lord god that you would encourage um that you would pour out um even fire in their prayer time, Lord God, that you will wake them, wake them at night, Lord God, that, that, that you would um, begin to speak to them and uh, compel them, Lord God, to come higher, Lord God, that they will not turn a deaf ear, Lord God, that any um, spirit of um, intimidation, any spirit of um, uh, slothfulness, any spirit of um, distraction, any spirit of, of hindrance, that is trying to um, keep them from their inheritance that they have in you, that is trying to keep them from their portion in you, Lord God. We speak from this day forward, every core is broken. It's broken on today, Lord God. Hmm. You said you sent your word and they were healed, Lord God. So we speak healing, Lord God, to broken hearts, Lord God. We send healing to those who are mourning losses of jobs, mourning losses of finances, mourning losses of relationships, mourning losses of children, mourning losses of, of, being, ba of being barren, Lord God. We speak, Lord God, that you will refresh them even now, Lord God. We thank you that your Holy Spirit is a comforter, Lord God. You said, and that he will be with us always, even into the end, end of, of the world, Lord God. So I, I speak, Lord God. Huh. That you will have your way in their lives, Lord God. Even the mates that you have for them, Lord God, I pray that you, they, that they will align their lives, Lord God, for the people who are waiting for mates, Lord God, and have been crying out for, for husbands and crying out for companionship, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will align them, Lord God, that their lives will be aligned, Lord God, that they would they would, they would begin to put themselves in position to receive from you, Lord God, that they would be obedient to the things that you've called them to do, Lord God. But the Lord says that, uh, um, uh, I hear in particular, one person keeps, keeps crying, has been crying out about it. And the Lord said, you will not be alone. He said, do not believe the, what the enemy has said. You will not be alone. And I even hear, uh, when he said, when I started praying about the barrenness, someone who can't bear children, the Lord says, um, trust me he said i just went through a very serious season in my body in my own body where i didn't think that i was going to be able to have children but i actually did have a child um last year and it was very i had a very very difficult um last year was just completely difficult and that's a whole nother topic but um god showed his faithfulness in that season for me as sick as i was but god is saying to encourage that woman on tonight there's been so that's prophetic prayer. Exactly what I did. You see how I heard the Lord and started targeting those areas. And I prayed in faith, but believing that it was already done. That's the difference. When you pray as if God has already done it. You know, we don't, we don't pray or, or we don't fight from a place where, well, I, I you know, maybe God's going to do it. If I'm, you know, if I, if I do, no, no, no. The Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat from the good of the land. If you ask anything in my name, I shall hear you, right? I'm paraphrasing that, I'm paraphrasing that scripture. If you, um, if you delight yourself in me, yes. Apostle? I'm still here. Yes, um, let me say this. Um, in case um, the meeting will end, kindly let us restart the meeting again. If the if, 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 if 40 minutes um, ends, please let us restart oh, no the meeting problem. again. Yes. See everybody. Okay, no please. problem. Yes. Um, okay, um, thank you. Please go ahead. That's fine. Oh, okay. Um, so, yes. So, um, 
I just really feel, feel strongly God is saying, this portion belongs to you. And some people, because of some of the things that I declare and, and some things that, things that came out as I was praying, this is what you need. But God is saying a, a lot of things has to do with confidence. There are some, some people who don't feel that they are worthy enough. I used to deal with a horrible um, place of um, lack of self-esteem, lack of value of, of love, because my father was never a part of my life. Uh, he never signed my birth certificate with, with, with my mom. So, so that place for a long time left me in, in a very hollow place. And so I never got that validation from a father. So I, I never really knew what it was. So I always felt like in some aspects, I was defective because of that. And so as I got older, thank God, and I was just telling my husband, I'm so glad that I found the look. Well, God found me when he did, because I know I would be a complete mess without him. Um, and the, the prophetic is actually what helped save my life more than anything else. Um, the enemy sought many times to take my life even before I was 12 years old. There were several occasions where things were happening um, through circumstances, through things that, you know, my, my mom was going through or different things. Um, but I knew that God always had a plan for me. But I, but I also felt like when I got older, there were some of the things that I didn't deserve because of some choices that I had made. So that was a constant conundrum that I, that I, I went through. But the more that I stayed in God's presence and the more that I began to know him and the more that he began to show me uh, who I really was, it was a, it, it was a really, um, I, I could just say my life changed in so many ways that I had no idea. And when I first met Apostle Crew, um, people wouldn't realize that I came from a very traditional Baptist church. I never used to speak in tongues. I never used to believe in the prophetic. I never used to believe in any of those. I used to think that those people are, are crazy, whatever, until <laughs> I had my own experience for myself. And I, and I began to um, pray and seek God. And the first time that it happened for me, when somebody prophesied to me, it was as if that person had literally been in my room the night before. And I was like, like, okay, well, can't nobody do that but God, because I never even, never even knew this person. You know what I'm saying? So um, the prophetic is so powerful in the sense that there's been so many times when I have felt, so my apostle talks about, and I'm sure Apostle Cabello probably talked, well, of course he talks about this, but my apostle, when we went through the apostolic college, he talks about how the life of the apostle is great warfare and suffering. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> like really God. Okay. But that's been something that I've gone through my entire life, but I can definitely say the prophetic me, me using the tools that God has given me, me, um, praying like I did just just even now and and I could have gotten a whole lot more I mean you know my tongues change with my different different level of warfare but the prophetic literally it if I can um describe it if I could try to describe it is it like literally lifts 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 the lifts my in, lift lifts my inner man that's low to a high place and it and it rightfully sits me where I am. What does it say? Because it says that we are seated in heavenly places, right? We are, we are, we are seated in, in, in heavenly places. So if we have authority, God has given man with authority and dominion in the earth. Sometimes life tends to try to strip that from us. So then we think because of our mistakes, we think of the things that have gone on. And I went through a really, really, really rough season last year that, I had to walk through some things that I had never walked through and it was very, very difficult. But the thing that kept me was I knew that prayer was something that always keeps me connected to the father. And I knew no matter what, when I began to pray, no matter how down I was, no matter how much I felt like, uh, whatever the case may be, it literally empowered me to go on it literally gave me like this extra, like when you put um, the, uh, when the person 
So like here, if a person's uh, car needs, needs a jump, the person puts like jumper cables on, on, their, on their car and like restarts it. To me, that's what I think prophetic anything does. Um, it just gives you like an extra charge. So like um, these will be some activations that are talking about like prophetic activations, which, which are part of prayer too. So for, for example, this says um, prophetic activation about marital status. So remember how I mentioned about I discern very strongly that people have been asking about their mates, have been waiting for mates. Some people are not married. Some people are, are, are wanting to be married, right? Right? So this one says, this activation includes praying for, for the person's marital status, married, single, or, or, or divorced, depending on whatever their, their status is. It says, allow the Lord to give you what to pray. So this is, this, this is the prophetic prayer. This is just an example. It says, allow the Lord to give you what to pray. You may be inspired to pray for restoration, patience, healing, blessing, and the like. And, and then it says, you can then launch into the prophetic flow. So that's pretty much what I did to a certain extent. So you see how when I started praying in the spirit and then I started praying about, um, just things in particular, then the flow kind of took over, but that what kind of gets you kind of get your little engine going to kind of press forward, if that makes sense. So this book is all about different activations like that. So um, it's God's will for us to um, flow in that place because he wants us to win. We do win, but he wants us to know that we win. He wants us to know that we can make it. He wants us to know that, yeah, it's difficult right now, but guess what? You're going to get through it. I'm going through it, but I'm going to get through it. Guess what? He's going to empower me while I'm going through it. I put on my um, Facebook page a while back. It says, the pain you feel now is not worth the joy that's coming. There are, some, there are some things that we have to go through as a part of the call that we have, as a part of um, the assignment on, on our lives, as a part of, it's, it's just a process. Is it easy sometimes? Absolutely not. I find myself asking God, why do I have to suffer so much? But he amazingly gives me peace in the midst of it. He gives me strategy in the midst of it. And I learn, I've learned how to walk through it. I've learned how to change my perspective of it through the prophetic. Without it, I would have been always crying, always falling apart, always, whoa, it's me, always all over the place, always, I can't stand. And, so, and God is saying, even in this season, there are certain things you're just going to have to stand through. It is a part of character development. God needs to know that he can trust us. So certain things you just got to go through. It's not even, it's, and, it, and it's not even for you. Some things we don't realize when, when we go through struggles and we go through heartache and we go through different things, a lot of times God is setting something up generationally that your kids don't, don't have to go through. So I've already declared over my life, my kids will not go through these things. If I have to, all, all the things that I've gone through in my life, that's why I, I pray, I intercede, I, I cover and if I have to go through these things, Lord, this thing is, is broken with my life because my kids will not go through this. I, I have declarations of things for my son, uh, things for my daughter about, and, and that's a part of the prophetic too, speaking into their life. So on my wall for my son and even for my husband, one of, the, one of the declarations I have is Joshua will always be a lover of God's word. He Amen. will always have, a, he will always have a, he will always have a submissive and obedient life. His life will not be cut short. He will live out his days fully. God has set aside for him godly friends. God has even set aside for him a godly mate. But you see, that's all part of the prophetic also. You're declaring out of your spirit what you want into the atmosphere. And again, God is moved by what? Faith. He doesn't always give it to us just because he doesn't move right then and there doesn't mean that doesn't mean that he doesn't hear us because we do have an opponent just like what it what did what did um daniel say he said god heard you the first day but the prince of persia fought me so god hears prayers when we pray them but there is a certain adversary that is fighting against those things which is why 
God desires for us to use our weapons. Speak in tongues is a weapon. Um, uh, dancing is, is a weapon. Um, reading the Bible is a weapon. Declaring the word is, is a weapon. Pleading the blood is a weapon. You know what I'm saying? God, God's desire, and that's all part of the prophetic, but God just wants us to know that you can possess that. You, you already have it in you, but don't allow the things that are, are, that are presently going on to distort vision in you, to distort God's plans for you, to distort your perception of God, of how God views you, because he are, we are already know God says that he would be not for the one. So that means God is so, uh, um, he's so amazing that he can love, he can love me right here in Ohio, in America, and still love all of you all at the same time, right where you are, right in your situation, right? And, and that he's constantly building us. He, he's constantly molding us and transforming us into what he wants us to be. Amen? And so that's a wonderful thing. So um, I'm going to stop with that um, because that's just kind of uh, where I feel like God is like, okay, just to see if um, anybody has any um, questions. And then I'm going to prophesy a little bit because uh, Pastor Precious did, did tell me that um, I have free, free reign to do that. But I also wanted to, I'm a person who um, also checks for clarity. I mean, checks for confirmation. So when I said things that were going on, or when I, when I said things, even though I didn't say someone's name, uh, please let me know if that was confirmation for you because that encourages me also. So uh, it's, trust me, it is not easy sometimes to start moving like that because then you're like, oh, people, people can sometimes look at you really weird, like, really, what's going on? <laughs> or, or they get kind of quiet, like, well, what's the person going to say? So it encourages me to hear people say, man, that was, you know, that was for me, God, you know, God. So it encourages the hearer also just just to say that so <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm gonna drink some water so my mouth is really dry wow thank you so much apostle sharon i believe that uh, we have been blessed and um you know in, in this season way it seems to be very very difficult it's very important that we do a lot of prophetic prayers because by the end of the day when this, this season is over you look back and you really thank god for what god has done in your life, what you have gone through, like you're saying, we go through a lot of things, we get this arrays, sometimes you don't even feel like praying, but to be honest with you, this is the season for us to pray, to engage mm -hmm. ourselves, you know, to talk to the Lord, and ask the Lord to intervene in our personal lives, because, you know, the yeah. pandemic, yes, is there, but we still have lives, we still have children, we still have husbands, we still have homes, we still have our careers, and all these things, we cannot and still and say no this is this is it this is the pandemic no life has to go on therefore we need to continue to pray prophetically i also liked you know yes. this part, the, 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 what you say that you know declarations are prophetic dancing is prophetic worship is prophetic in your own house when you feel like worshiping the lord lie down just pray just worship god just declare just speak things that will come to, 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 to pass. Like the Bible says, death and life that are in the power of our time. So we have time. the tools. We have the keys. You know, we are mm -hmm. the people to make things happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please go ahead. Amen. So, so I have one more thing to say. So, um, yes. So even with the prophetic prayers, when I, when I talked about uh, declarations that I have on my wall um, for like, so I have them for like various areas of my life finances career friendships uh, my husband um my children di different things so on one of the things because of course finances are like god really i declare i have more than enough lack is not our portion that's a, that's a prophetic prayer like you said you have to trust god those are just because it's it's, it's not a not a long drawn out thing those are prophetic prayers um, God is my source. Uh, he shall provide everything according to his riches and glory in heaven. I have more than enough. Uh, I have favor with God and men. 
Men shall give unto my bosom. God shall remember my seed. God is faithful. His mm -hmm. promises, like, like you have to, that's a part of stirring yourself prophetically of, of constantly, it is literally a declaration. And listen, when you declare some things, mm -hmm. my apostle always says that a seed um, always reproduces after its, after its, it, its own kind. So every time you put that out into the atmosphere, we have no idea what God is doing with that. We have no idea what is, what is, what is being done behind the oh, scenes, behind. but it's so important to use mm -hmm. what we have, which is our mouth, which um, we can either curse our crisis <laughs> or curse the season we're in, or we can bless it while we're in it. And, 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 and how you frame it is through that prophetic prayer, despite how you feel, because feelings are not faith. It, it doesn't matter necessarily. God is not always concerned about what you feel. It's concerned about what did he say and what's true. And so the prophetic is kind of like, it just like some, it's like no nonsense. This is what God said. This is what I believe he going to do. I know right now this is what's going on, but this is what he said. This is what I believe. I'm going to keep standing on this thing until, until the wheels fall off. That's my confession. There are times when I have to, like she said, I have to stand and I start charging my angels. Angels, go get what belongs to me. God, every seed that I sow in my life last year out of obedience that you told me to do out of my surplus, I need you to bring those seeds back into fruition. And do you not know God hurt my prayer three now? And, and, and I'm going to share something. We were going through a very serious situation. And I literally, I pray just like that. God, you are not a liar. Everything you promised me, you said you're going to do. Just because I don't see it, I'm going to say mm -hmm. it till I see it. I'm going mm -hmm. to say it until mm -hmm. I see it. I'm wow. not going to back up. Yeah, I may cry a little bit. I may be like, God, today, but I'm going to keep saying it until I see it. My husband is my witness to this and the Holy Spirit. I said, God, out of obedience to what you told me to do, every time I sow a seed, I, I say what it's for. But I said, just how I sowed those seeds I, without hesitation, and it was not small amounts of money. <laughs> it was nowhere near. <laughs> it was it was a It was a hurting seed. I cried, cried, but I was obedient. Mm -hmm. I said, just how you told me to be obedient and do that. I need those every seed to come back into my life. Now mm -hmm. I look up, somebody cash at me said, the, said the Lord said I was sitting in the grocery store. I was, I just came out of the grocery store and I was sitting outside and I began to weep and I heard God say, send her that money. Mm -hmm. The next day, somebody said, Man, you were, I woke up this morning and you were so heavy in my spirit and prayer. And this was after I talked to her. She sent me money in my other account that was PayPal. The next day, the next, now this is all simultaneously. The next day, uh, someone said, I'm going to send you some money on, on Friday. But that was, that was because my conviction of what I said. Now, I could have been like, God. Now, let me tell you, there are times I have to be very careful, which we have to be very careful of what we say, mm -hmm. because you got to be very careful of what you say. So I've learned how to, if I, sometimes I say nothing, if I can't, I'm like, Lord, because I don't want to say idle words, because I believe you, it, despite the frustrations, I want to be very careful of what I say, because mm -hmm. I know that you hear me when I pray. Mm -hmm. I know you hear me. So, mm -hmm. um, you have to be so convinced, man. And when I tell you mm. this season, this season that I'm in, I should be locked up in a crazy house. I don't even look like the things that I've been through, the things that I I've gone through, because I made up in my mind I was going to serve God despite what he say. Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. It doesn't mm. right some, some days it don't feel so good. Some mm -hmm. days I don't even understand, mm -hmm. but I know one thing he said in his word, he that begin mm -hmm. a good work in me, he going to perform it. He going to complete it. And then the Bible also says, after you've suffered a little while, huh, 
I'm going to perfect you. I'm going to settle you and I'm going to establish you. So, so suffering has a season for you as well, which is a whole nother thing, but you get what I'm saying? That place of prophetic, that, that pushed me past my, past my natural man being fatigued past me. Like, you know what today? I don't really want to do it, but I'm like, mm -mm. you've got to stir your spirit. You've got to stay in faith because mm -hmm. You're going to get through it. You're, you're going to get through it. And so that's spot on about the scripture, that, that life in the power of death. And sometimes we have a, a way where, where, where we make stuff too long sometimes because God is saying, I just want you to trust me. Mm -hmm. You don't even got to understand what's going on. It's not for you to understand. All I want you to do is trust me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be transparent again. The Lord told me to leave my well-paying job well-paying well-paying job almost two years ago and i'm like well god <laughs> i'm a single parent i have responsibilities really now mind you i'm the apostle I, I i love god love god trust him so he's been telling me this for months in the meantime my body had also began to go through some some very serious things because of the amount of pressure that I, I was putting on my own self. So a lot of it has to do with my, my, dis, my disobedience because God told me. But, but nevertheless, um, he kept telling me, he kept putting it into my spirit. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know about this, Jesus. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know about this. And I kid you not, I heard him say, as clearly as I'm talking to you, he said, your job is not your source. I, I am. And at any given time, that job could let you go. Are you really going to trust me? And I'm like, what? Like, really? What? But then the Lord, Lord, Lord reminded me about, um, uh, he said that I had precious seed in the ground. So he was going to always take, take, take care of me. So that even in that, even in that time, that was the test. I could have stayed in that way too long, which, which I did partially, but God was, God blessed that, that because of my obedience. And so I just wanted to say that because that is so true. And what uh, pastor precious was just talking about how God is saying in this time, especially like that was like a, like, yo, like my life depended on it in every ways of my human comprehension and even people around me were like that don't make sense why would you do that why would you but God said this is what I told you to do and let me tell you when I released that my life got so much lighter man I had no idea all of the things that were gonna things that were gonna come but there was a release that came and God blessed me so much after that because of my obedience and so I, I, I just want you to know God is always, um, he, he, he uses the, these seasons of, of hardness, of difficulties to, to prepare us. We sometimes look at it as like, man, this is just too rough, but God actually uses it for training. That's what the prophetic is literally, it, it trains you for the next season. You know what I'm saying? It gives you strategy. It gives you instruction to be prepared for the next undertaking. And, and because when God can trust you with, with the season and how you deal with it, what, what does he say? When you, when, when God can, uh, when you can be faithful over the few things, God can make you ruler o over many. God just sometimes wants to be able to see if he can trust you in that, in that, in that season. So even as difficult as it is now, the prophetic will definitely, like I said, it is keeping me <laughs> every day. It is keeping me. It is encouraging me. It is propelling me. And I, and I see God doing things even in the midst of it be, because of my prophetic um, declarations. I, I've seen God do, God do things that, that I prayed about before happening now. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that I didn't back down, because of the fact that I kept my words right, because of the fact that I um, kept speaking life, even though it was looking kind of bleak, <laughs> I still kept speaking life. And so I, I just wanted to further push that point, further encourage that. I'm done. Pass the pressures.
Did you meet yourself? <laughs> yes. I have mute, I have muted myself so that you can talk now because sometimes oh. the echo goes on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, thank you so much, um, Apostle Sharonda. I, I like the part you, which you say is what is important is how I frame my words. You know, God is not concerned about how I feel because the situation will not change. But I have the keys. I, the part you are saying is important how you frame your words. Say it until it comes to pass. Hallelujah. Wow, that's so beautiful. Um, thank you so much uh, for the word of encouragement. Um, if you have, if you want to say, to prophesy somebody, um, we have a lot of uh, guests here, about 34 participants tonight. Um, if you have oh, a word mercy. of knowledge <laughs> or you want to say okay. something to them, please feel free. Please feel free. And okay. then we'll have time to ask questions. If there's anybody who wants to, 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 to ask a question, we will give them that opportunity. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I'm really not that great with names. So so please correct me if I say your name incorrectly uh, because some of the pronunciations are, are different. So so hold on one second. Uh, there are certain people who I can see, certain people who, are, who I can't see. Mm. So... Um, who um this is the person with the with the letter B. How do you pronounce your name? B O T S I L E. Butsile. That's Butsile. Oh, but see. But silly. Is that correct? Butsile, unmute yourself. And mute yourself. Okay. I have. You can I'm talk. Unmuted. You can't hear. Oh, yeah, you can hear okay. you. We can hear you. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, where did she go? Uh oh. Oh, there she is. Oh, sorry. The screens when people switch, it's like the screen switch. Okay. Now I now I see you. You're, you're on the bottom of my screen now. Hold on. I need some water. Hold on. My mouth is like super dry. Um. Um. It's so funny as I'm, and, and please don't take this the wrong way. As I'm looking at you, it looks like you're in the dark. Are you in the dark? Or are you like in the... The lighting is bad. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> one of the things um, God, is, God was saying for you um, is that he is um, unveiling you in this in this season like you are a person who really likes to be in the back you're not a upfront type type person you're not a in your face uh not even vocal sometimes but god says in this season he has great great need of you and he said even even um in your youth he said even in your youth um <clears throat> there are some treasures and there are some hidden nuggets that he has inside of you that he wants for you to come. Um, he wants for you to bring to the forefront. And so God is saying, uh, even you have had a lot of uncertainty about this season that you're in, because you kind of always feel like you kind of live in, live in obscurity anyway. So for you, you feel like, well, I kind of live in that place. Uh, this, this, ain't, this ain't too unfamiliar for me. I live in obscurity. I live in a place um, where I'm, where I'm kind of hidden. Um, but God is saying, in this season, He is doing such a new thing for you if you if you let Him. He said, um, mm -mm, no, "Her picture is gone." Uh oh. I think she's listening. She's still. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. He said. Um, I'm not sure if you journal or what you do con con concerning that, but, but, but God said it's, an, it's so important for you to write in this season. He said, as you write, the, the writing will be therapeutic for you because you have, you have some answers um, in your heart concerning some things that, that you feel like you don't have. And so that leads to the level of obscurity you have of not really knowing 
sometimes purpose and direction. And God says, as you write, I'm going to free you. And I'm going to bring you out of that place of obscurity into the light, says God. Amen. <clears throat> She's um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for okay. that. Okay. Yes. Um, and I promised myself, I'm like, I told my husband, I'm not going to prophesy long. And he like, he know me. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So uh, there's a person on the screen right here at the bottom. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so bad. I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell it out. Um, so, uh, what is S I P H I W E? How do you pronounce your name? Sipiwe. 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 Yes, my name is Sipiwe. Sipiwe. Yes. Oh, wow. that's different. Okay. Oh, yeah, I would have butchered that name all the way. <laughs> people, people mess up Sharonda a lot, so I would have definitely butchered that name. Tepiwe, is that right? Tepiwe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, God said um, he's giving you beauty for ashes. Yes. I'm not sure Amen. if you're the person who I was talking about that is mourning the loss of some things, but God is saying he's giving you beauty for your ashes. There has been um, some difficulties that you've gone through that have caused you to almost be at a standstill. And you too have been... Um, I'm trying to say this correctly. You, 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 you too have been in a place where uh, you have lots of questions and I almost see like your mind, sometimes you can't rest at night. You're having a problem sleeping at night because you worry a lot about lots of things and um, your decision-making, God said, in this season is so important because you like, you have so many um, you're a dreamer. You you really think big. You 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 really have um, very grand ideas, but sometimes you feel that um, you would never meet them. So there's some things that you kind of started, but you kind of put to the side, and you've kind of settled in some ways. I'm not sure what that means, but you've kind of settled in some ways. But I heard God said He's gonna give you beauty for ashes, and this season He wants you to smile more. He wants you to smile more. And he said, in this season, I'm doing a inner healing for you. And you know what that means. That's what he said. So hopefully that makes sense. Amen. 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 Um, this is the other person on the screen. I'm going to butcher. I'm sorry. You say amen. Okay. Um, I'm going to butcher her name. <laughs> uh, Keba? Uh, K? K? Nah, I, I don't know if you're able to say it. Banile? <laughs> is that Banile? No. K-E-B-A? Yes, that's Kibanini. Oh, yeah, I, I would be able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Kibanini. I was trying to, I was trying to uh, phonetically sound it out, but I, I couldn't do it. It just didn't work. Um, huh. um, <clears throat> God told me to tell you that He's honored by your efforts. He's really honored by your efforts. But he said sometimes you can be extremely hard on your own self. You kind of have like this timeline for yourself as far as where you want to be, what you want to do. And of course, we, we all, all have it by a certain time. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there. Um, but 
there's been some setbacks for you, but God said he's honored by your efforts. And, and, and he said to tell you, though you had to sacrifice some things in, in order to make some adjustments, because family is important to you, and um, there were some necessary sacrifices that you had to make, God said, he's still honored by your efforts. And he wants you to know that time is not lost. I'm not sure what that means, but, but, but he said, time is not lost for you. Hmm. And so he just said, he wants you to know that he's pleased with you. That's been a question that you've had, but, but he said he wants you to know that he is pleased with you. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Amen. Emanuele. Amen. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, there's other people who I, I can't see, so it's kind of hard to when I can't see them. Oh, most of them are not on the videos, just names. Yeah. Yes. So and that's why I was trying to, I was trying to talk to the people who I could see because it's 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 a little bit easier to connect with their spirit when I can see them. Okay. Um, you can. Yeah. You can start your videos if you can, please. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yay. Okay. I'm like, it's, there's people there. Sorry. It's kind of hard when you're like looking at a screen so you can connect with the person's spirit. Yeah. Um, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so not good with names. Bless God. <laughs> um, I'm going to spell your name and please tell me how to pronounce it. Okay. But you're, you're a young, you're a a, a young young lady from what I see. It looks like you're about 14. Um, A-T-A-N-G. Atang. <laughs> Atang. How old are you? I'm 22. Wow. You, you look like you're about 14. I, know, I get it all, all the time. How old do you think how old do you think I am? 30. I'm I'm older than 30. But that's good. 36. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you look, man, you, you look great. Um, okay, so this is what I hear for you. Um, do you want to do, do something with cosmetics? Makeup uh, yes. and cosmetics? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so God says he wants you to pursue that. That's been a dream. Do you want to make stuff with cosmetics? You want your own. You want your own skincare line. You want your own. Yeah. Yes. I saw that. So then again, so if you see see when I started prophesying, I mean started started prophesying for for. I'm sorry. Say your name again. Atang. Atang. It was yeah. um. It was a word of knowledge, but I still asked a question. So, like, I knew about the cosmetic line. You get, you get what I'm saying? It came out. Of, it, it came out of my spirit when I looked at you. That was what I heard. So, so yeah, God said, pursue it, and you'll be you'll be prosperous in that area. And I also Amen. heard him say, um, there's been some other things that you want to do as far as schooling too. That you've yes. been that, that you've been talking to God about, but He said, "Yeah, He wants you to pursue that too." You have a really, 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 really great, great mind, and God says He's He's honored too by some of the sacrifices that you've had to make, and so you kind of feel like you've kind of had had to put your life on hold for just a season. God said it's just a season where you kind of felt like you've had to make some adjustment, and so um, it's just a season, but God is. God is reawakening those things for, for, for you. So what he wants you to start doing in the meantime is 
uh, say it till you see it, say it till you see these things manifest, but, but he wants you to start writing some vision out about your life, about these plans, because you have so many things tapped inside of you. And he, just, and he doesn't want you to feel that just because you're at a standstill right now, that these things won't come to pass because they surely will, says God. Because you've been faithful, says God. You've been, you've been, you've been extremely faithful. You've been really, really faithful, God says. And so he wanted me to tell you that. So, so write it out. Business plan. Write out the colors. Write out the schemes. All of the different things you want to do. And is it and is it law? Is it law? Accounting. Accounting. Okay. Yeah. I saw something. Who? If somebody on, on here wants to pursue law school, Pastor Precious, is it? Is there somebody on here who wants to who wants to pursue law school? Law school. I'm. I'm not seeing anybody here. Who is that? Um, can I say? Yes. Yes. Um, I have I have considered doing international tax law, but I wasn't too sure about it. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I'm like I know I heard it. God said somebody somebody wants to pursue. I mean, when I said it, I'm like I'm like okay, Lord, because see. He won't, he, he won't let your words fall to the ground. The Holy Spirit is always right. Even though I'd be like, really, God? He said, yeah, like, I, I wasn't sure. So, so, so this is the other thing that that prophecy does. Prophecy dissolves doubts. So you just said you were unsure about pursuing that. So yeah. it, God is, uh-oh, where'd you go? Your face, I can't, oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> God said, um, that's another place where you were you were struggling in, but this is why the prophetic is so important because it it, it dissolves the doubts. So he cut, so he gave you an answer. Why not? Why why not go for it? When I heard it, I'm like, she looks like a lawyer. <laughs> but I saw you being a multifaceted person. You're not just mm -hmm. a person that does law. I saw you having the makeup. I definitely saw that. I saw you having your own skincare line. Having a um, having a boutique, like I, I saw you as, as like a multifaceted businesswoman. You had a suit on, but you also had a uh, with a briefcase in your hand. But you also um, were were like very casual at the same time. So God is like you're like a Renaissance person. You can kind of you can kind of multitask. You can um, kind of you can kind of blend in and in, in in any situation he he's made your demeanor to be such a place of peace and, and such a place of calmness that um god has almost given you the language of man so 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 you know how to be that in that arena and you know how to how to reach people in that arena too and that's a special anointing that you have and so god said pursue it so um people as i was just saying prophecy dissolves out dissolves doubts so when i called out that was a word of knowledge so everybody just witnessed that that was the word of knowledge when i heard tax i mean i heard law did you want to go to law and first you said i don't like i thought about it and then she came back and said yeah so that's what i'm saying prophecy is so important because it helps to dissolve doubts it helps to give you answers it helps to give you strategy but that all came out of the word of knowledge um is it Bebe? Be, be, how do you pronounce B A B E? It's Bobby. 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 Okay. Bobby. You you look like um someone who I know. Her name is uh she's a she's my friend's mom who lives in Arizona, but her name is Miss April. But you you're like that mother. So okay. So I guess there's a reason why God God said that. Um uh you have a very, very mothering um spirit. God says, and there's many, many people, many children that you carry in your bosom um, and that you've um, nurtured, that you've um, literally been like a midwife for. Um, and God said he has been honored by your season of mothering. You know, sometimes we don't, um, for me to, 
I've gone from being a working working woman to now being a stay at home mom, and I have so respect for people who are stay at home moms. That was never the season that I was in, but God says you left such great deposits in your children, such great deposits, and um, and even people who are not your biological children, but you 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 mothered people, and God said He has been honored because of that. He said you also, there's been some um, questions that you've had and there's been, um, hmm. how can I say? There's been some, um, answers that you've been seeking, but God is saying for this season, and I know you're like, God, okay, how am I going to do this? But he said, do some things for you. God said, he literally was taking the weight off of you just came out of this very uh, season where some things were really, really heavy upon you and you were carrying a lot of things. And it almost at times felt like it was very, very suffocating. You're like, God, I don't know how much more I could bear it. But, 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 but God was like, he built you for it. You're like, I don't feel built for it. It's difficult. I don't want to, this is, this is too much God. But he said, I had great need of you. So you had to bear some heavy weight. And at times, the enemy tried to almost make you feel that you were missing out on things because of the weight weight that you were carrying. And, and a lot of it had to do with uh, the children that I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So God is saying, um, this season for you is going to be a great season of restoration for you, great renewal, and great rest. One of the things that God says for you that he desires for you is great rest. Amen. Amen. He, he said he wants you also. There are some things that you have locked inside of you that he wants you to take off this and, and dust them off. And, and then this is, I'm not sure what this means, but I heard him say this. No more playing it safe. I'm not sure, sure how that applies to you, but, but that's what he told me. So he said, be blessed woman of God. But he said he's He's been honored. He said, he said, even he's been honored by your level of intercession. You give great hugs to people. Like you have that personality of um, you would give whatever you have at any given time, no, no, no matter if you lack, if, if, if you got it, if you don't got it, you, you would give out of your storehouse. And, and because of that, God is saying, I'm getting ready to fill your barns again. And there is a great... Re- there is a great reward for, for you for the things that you've done silently, says God. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Wow. Wow. Um, man. Boy, that, <laughs> let me tell y'all, people. That prophecy don't be no joke. So I've learned how to train my spirit to be able to be sensitive to God. So it's like, um, that's why I had said it, it was so important to see someone because as our apostle teaches us too, like the, the person's eyes are through a, uh, are, are portals to a person's soul. So I can already hear things in the spirit, but then when, when I see someone, it kind of helps bring things sp- specifically. And then it comes out of my spirit. Like it literally, and if you ask me tomorrow, I'll be like, I don't know what I said because it was literally the spirit of God. I can't tell you what it is. But when the when the when the weight of prophecy falls on me, it falls hard. Ask the Pastor, Pre- pa- Pastor, uh, Pastor Precious; she knows it falls very heavily on me. Um, but God said you need a comfort on today. That was your prayer today. Amen. God said He was giving you He's He's giving you comfort, babe, babe, babe. I probably said that wrong. Sorry. Okay. It is. Amen. Um, um, I don't know how to, of course. Sorry, you're going to have to help me. So I'm going to just uh, <laughs> spell your name and please pronounce it for me. N A I Y E. Naye. Say it, say it again. Naye. Oh, I like that. Naie. Is, is that right? I said it right? Yay! Yay. Naie. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Ooh, Father. 
Um, and names are, are so important to me, so I don't like saying people's name incorrectly. Hmm. Um, hmm. Um, um, what God says to me about you is that you're a very um, studious person. You're very, like, very detail oriented, very, very much um, no nonsense, matter of fact, straight to the point, God said. But I heard him say, in this season, you've been, you've been struggling because God has been kind of rearranging some things. And especially with this time going on, it's been like, God, this is a little different for me because I'm used to point A, point B, <laughs> point C. And you feel like you're kind of in this place where you're like, okay, God, what's going on? Did I sin? Did I fall out of your grace? What's going on? My life is kind of all over the place to a certain extent. And you're trying to figure out what's, what's going on. And so God is saying, that's because I'm doing something, something new with you that, Amen. um, I don't, he, he said that I want you to stop being resistant to change sometimes for you is difficult. And, and, and I can bear witness because it's for me, it's extremely difficult. <laughs> the spirit has to like break me. Like you got to change. Change is necessary. Um, yeah. and so God is saying in the change, he's going to reveal some jewels and, and some nuggets about you that, that you didn't know. So he's getting ready to reveal you to you. There are some Amen. things that God has inside of you that have to come out. Amen. There has been, um, how can I say, um, You are very, 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 very quiet, but there is a silent, how can I say, silent lion that like, that like is in the background that kind of like is there, but because your demeanor is very much like, but God's saying in, in this season, it's time for you to roar. There's a different war that's coming out of you. And he's going to begin to show you some things, even about your appearance, your hair, um, that are going to totally shock you like God well I'm okay like this and you like well no I got greater things for you <laughs> and it's all a part of my process so I just heard God saying don't resist the change embrace the change because I have better for you I, he oh he said I have better for you there there's some better on the other side for you that you don't even understand he, he said but in this process I am revealing you to you because people have always seen you one way, but God is saying she's so multifaceted in so many different ways. And as he begins to take those layers off, he's going to begin to show you're going to be like, I didn't know that was in me. I didn't know that was in me. I didn't know that was in me. That's in me too. And so God is going to, it's, it's like almost like he's going to pump the whale. And as he's pumping the whale, the water's going to start to rise and as the water starts to rise out of you. Cause he said, what? Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I see layers coming off and you turn it into this beautiful butterfly. God, God says, I'm not sure what this means either, but he said, you're getting ready to take flight. I don't know what that means, but I heard him say that. Because there's been, you've Amen. been kind of grounded in some way, but I heard God say, say, said you're getting ready to take flight and it's getting ready to take off as you embrace the change. That's what I heard him say. Amen. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Father, I thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, uh, I don't like your people's name. Huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, mm, I'm going to spell it. I'm not going to be able to say it. I'm just not going to be able to say it. And I don't, I don't like messing people's name up. Uh, R O. R O I S A N G. Rory Sang. That's Rory Sang Su Sing. Okay, now I actually could probably say that, but I, I was like, I don't want to say it incorrectly. Rory Sang. Is that correct? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Rory Sang. Um, she, she's, she's looking right at me. I mean, well, we're all looking at one another, <laughs> but she's at the bottom of my screen. <laughs> oh, she's off mute now. Rorisa? Um, yes, I'm here. She's there. 
Um, Hmm. Um, I'm I'm trying to hear uh, discern what, what I hear because I because I, I heard two things. So one of the things God says is, "Ask me for what you want." I don't know what that means, but that's exactly how I heard it. He said, "Ask me for what you want." There's been some things in your heart, and He said, "Just ask me for what you want." Then He said, um. This may seem really, 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 really strange, but see, God is so concerned about even the smallest things for us. Have you been asking about new things concern, co concerning like your wardrobe? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Have you been talking about your shoes lately? This is so, it's so random, but it's exactly how I hear it. Yes, I've been trying to just change my wardrobe and everything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, he, he he was going to um, provide that, like like. <laughs> but the I, th I think the reason why he brought that out is because he wants you to know that he hears the very cadences of your heart, like everything that concerns you. He he hears you, and we. It don't matter how small it is. It don't matter how insignificant it is. He wants you to know that he hears everything you have to say and even as even to some that may be like well why she mentioned the shoes I, I heard it so so clearly because he said he wants you to know that he's concerned about every single thing that's on your heart everything and so that's why I, I, I heard him say ask me for what you want because you almost feel like at times you don't you don't want to ask God directly for what you want because you're so used yes. to being a person who you're very humble, you very low. You you keep yourself very, very low, which is a great thing to be. But God is saying, Wow. Okay. He said, He said, you've suffered a lot. A, a lot you've suffered. And so even during that time of suffering you 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 kept your heart encouraged even in times when you wanted to give up where you even where the enemy it was it was a very 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 sad place for you very very dark place for you but god said i was so honored by your posture at that time and so that's why he said don't you know that i know the know the hairs on your head every every single hair on your head i i know that and so he he said daughter, huh, I'm going to pay you for those time too. He said that what you sown in tears, you're going to reap in joy. So he said, just mm -hmm. ask me. He said, I'm, I'm repositioning some things that you can't even see. And he said, though, it, though it's hard, though it's, um, you are such a, you are such a jewel to him. He honors, man, he honors your prayers. And that's why the, the first, the, the very first thing, thing that I, I said, he said is, ask me for what you want. Just ask me. Mm -hmm. And don't feel bad when you ask me. He said, don't feel bad when you ask me. Um, this Man. is, this, oh, bless you. So I can say this, Susan, is, is that how you say it? <laughs> Susan? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. It's not pronounced differently? No, you pronounce it well. Okay. It's <laughs> Susan. Okay, I was like, okay, I can pronounce that without jacking that jacket her name up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, he said your smile oh, lights my. up a room. Oh. Your smile lights up a room. Huh. Wow. wow. He said... <clears throat> Wow. Mm. Man, so so when I pause, so this is a this is a thing in prophecy. Certain times, um, even when the Lord gives you things, you're not always meant to share them. 
publicly. So I, I use wisdom of learning what to say and how to say it because again, you never want to prophecy is, is meant to encourage and edify and build people up, right? So you don't ever want to put people on the spot or make them feel like because God 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 loves us so much. So it's meant to build and encourage. But sometimes God exposes things in prophecy when a person is prophesying to bring healing to them. Okay. Um, so I so so when I stopped, I started seeing some things, but I had to be very careful of how to how how God wanted me to proceed. Because I don't believe in saying things out loud because it's it's not for other people to hear. So I'm gonna be very careful what I say to you, okay? Amen. Um, um God wants you to know that he loves you a lot. And that's like we said, but he really, really, really loves you. When mm -hmm. I said um, your smile lights up a room, it really does. God said um, he's restoring some, some lost time for you. And even he's restoring your joy back like, like that. So when you smile, it broke something when you smile. God says, um, he knows you so intimately and he knows you so, so intricately. He knows the things that are on your heart. You have, you have some very, very, very heavy things that are on your heart. And he said, he wants you to know that he loves you and he will love you through them all. Amen. 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 He said, he also told me to tell you, this is a new season for you, daughter. Amen. This is a new season for you. This is a new season for you. I heard God say, um, there has been some hindrances. There's been some blockages for you. There's even been some things set up to sabotage you and keep you out of a certain place. But God said, um, he's removing those things. Amen. And, and, and he said, he wants your heart to be at rest this evening. There's been a, a, a lot of things on your heart and the enemy has even come at times to try to torment and bring things that'll get you out of, get you out of alignment. So it's almost like sometimes I, I hear you saying, Lord, am I going crazy? I heard that. Uh, but you, um, but, but God said, but God said, Today is a new day, and mm -hmm. even the even the things that you've gone through and are going through are preparation for the next season. But your mm -hmm. he said the days of joy are coming, um, where you're, you're just gonna smile just because it's it's Monday, just because it's Tuesday. When you smile, you release healing healing out of your own life. God says. Mm -hmm. And he said, know that I'm very concerned about everything that affects your life. Every, every, uns every unspoken thing, every, um, every hard thing, he understands those things very well. And I heard him say, um, he's, he's, he's about to move strong on your behalf and there is help. I don't know what that means, but I heard him say there is help. If that makes sense to you, there is help, he said. Okay. Um, um, so he said smile again like the whole time so while you're on here for the rest of the time he wants you to smile amen um, is that Lydia Lydia L-Y-D-I-A Lydia. Lydia. Oh, okay. It's it's uh people spell it differently here. Uh oh. People keep moving. Uh oh. I'll be looking at them then they move. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, oh, she's gone. Or oh no, there she is. Sorry, she's in the back of the screen. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry. There was somebody else that I wanted to go back to that was on the sorry. 
my, my phone only shows like four people at a time. So I have to scroll through to look at everybody that's there. Mm-hmm. Um, T-E-N-D-E-K-I. Tendekai? Tendekai? Tendekai. Tendekai? Tendekai. Okay. Um, I just heard God say for you, he's releasing, str- he's releasing new strength to you. He's releasing new strength. There's been some things that you said, God, I just need to get done. He said, I'm releasing strength and I'm releasing might to you to get some things done. Amen. 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 So that's what I meant to, but you were like the screen moved. So you were off that screen when I started scrolling. Um, now some people, God prefers me. I mean, certain things are longer. Certain things are short. Samantha, my my daughter's middle name is Samantha, so I could definitely say that. Say that. <laughs> say that. <laughs> Samantha's on the screen. Blessings. Samantha. M. I can hear. Oh, she can hear. Um, God just said he, he's doing a new thing in you too. He's just doing a new thing in you. He said you've asked and you've, um, um, you've been very strategic. He said um, also he, 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 he wants you to get back to the thing that you know. I, I don't know what that means, but he wants you to get back to the thing that you know to do. There's something. Um, so I, I don't know if it's about the way in which you used to structure things, the way in which you, um, because you're a very orderly person. You're very much detail oriented, very much structure. But um, God said that is very beneficial for how you move through life. So, like my personality is is type A, very much. This is how I, my, that helps me to navigate through some things. <laughs> but God is saying um, He wants you to get back to those things. There are some things that you've dropped. in the midst of um, what's going on now. And so he wants you to pick them back up because they're great tools for you. Um, and, I, and he said he heard your prayer. I don't know what that means, but, but he said he heard your prayer. Of course, we, we all pray about stuff, but there's, there's something specifically you've been praying to the Lord about, and he said he heard your prayer. Um, amen. Esther. Esther, you will be happy. Good evening, Apostle. Good evening, Apostle. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. You look like one of my friends. I went to. I went to undergrad with. I'm your friend. I'm here. You are my friend. You're my sister (laughs) and my friend. Um, Yeah. Um. uh, Um. God said He's getting ready to open up some doors for you. Amen. Um. By that. Uh. It's like, um, what, what, what is he saying? Do, do you work in the corporate world? What do you work? What do you do for work? Yeah, in the, cent- in the central bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. That's what I just love about God. The Holy Spirit be just doing stuff. Man, I love it. Um, but I, I, I heard him say he's getting ready to open up some doors for you. So I don't know if that means a promotion is coming for you, but God said you've been really faithful. That's what you've been praying Amen. for, praying for. But I, I just saw a great, well, what I initially saw was it was a great door of increase that I saw. Uh-oh. I need to charge my phone because it is. Um, Amen. Sorry. Amen. Sorry. It's, it's a great, great door of increase that I saw coming into your life. Cause, because God says you've been faithful. You've been you've been extremely faithful. Yeah. Amen. So he said, "Look for the increase because it's coming." Um. Okay. Uh, Thank you. No, no problem. Um. So I'm gonna be obedient to what God said. God said, "Prophesy to everybody on here." I was like, "Jesus, really? Okay." Um. Ne- how you said Neo. 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 Yeah, I'm here. You, you, 
look like my friend Jasmine. I love your glasses. <laughs> glasses. You. Beautiful glasses. Beautiful um, glasses. Um, okay. So this is what God said for you. God said He's getting ready to re He's getting ready to restore to redeem some time for you. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? He said, I'm getting ready to redeem some time for you. Cause you've been, you feel like you've, you've lost time and that you're behind schedule with some things. But God said, I'm getting ready to redeem some time and like catch you up to, sorry, my baby's in the back. So if you hear that, hear the whining, that's the baby. Um, because my, my phone is, I had to charge it, sorry. Um, so he said he's getting ready to redeem some time for you. You're also a person, uh, sometimes you're extremely hard on yourself because you're no nonsense. You, you, you just go, you give 100%, but you kind of feel like you've been in this kind of in-between place. So that's what they call like, like, like monopoly. You've left one season, but you have not quite gone to the other one. You stuck right in the middle. You're like, well, I know I can't go back, but I'm not but I'm not yet there yet. And you like, really God, what's going on? But God said, this time is so crucial because he's getting ready to show you some strategy. So I don't know if you do this, but uh, in the redeeming the time for you, he wants you to journal. Did you used to journal? Or you used to write? Or, or um, I used to. He wants you to get back to the journaling because he said in the journaling, he used to talk like, so journaling for me is a part of my prayer time where I and God just be speaking like I, I love it. It it encourages my heart. It gives me direction. But I heard God saying, I need you to go back to that place because there's going to be some instruction that he's going to give you for this season that you're in. But he said, I'm going to redeem some time for you. I'm going to literally um, create an opportunity that is going to allow you to go back and and do some things because you feel like you've missed some things but, but but then god is saying you really haven't missed them there are certain things that i had to kind of put on delay for a season and see sometimes god doesn't always tell us when he like there is a door for you but you can't walk through it and you're like well give me a reason why god tell me what's what the and he just be like that's just not the time so so god generally gives us three answers yes no and wait Waiting sometimes is, is you're like, well, I don't understand. God, you know my needs. I got this going on. But but God's way is always best. But get back to journaling. And as you journal, he's going to begin to give you some strategy and some insight for you. Um, well, amen. thank you. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Oh. Our meeting is ending in the next uh, five minutes. And thank you. I know we, we, there are so many people here. Um, if it is possible, I know you'll talk to each and every one of them. But thank you so much uh, for that uh, word of encouragement. And I believe um, uh, most of us, we are encouraged. You know, sometimes how the prophetic works. Sometimes when you speak to somebody about, you know, certain things, God is indirectly mm -hmm. also speaking to you. You know, you may, may not say precious, this is what the Lord is saying. But as you are speaking to Samantha, as you are speaking to Pussy, as you are speaking, like when you are speaking to Neo, you are speaking, that's what the Lord has been telling me, you know, that I need to start to journal, I need to start to know, to put down things, the things that the Lord is speaking to my spirit, I need to start noting them down. Come, and then I come back to them, I read them, and, you know, I just... Enjoy what God is saying to me because if I don't listen to God in this season, I'm going to miss what God is going to do to, to, to what God is saying in this season. So I, I I believe that many people are being blessed, you know. And I people like Esther, you spoke about being in the corporate world. She well, she she she's working in a bank. People like Buzi, you spoke about I, she's very she's a, a a poetic person. So I believe that she can be a writer. And if you can uh, start to, you know, to develop that gift and she will go far, like you are saying, though she missed the prophetic. So thank you so much uh, for such a powerful weight of encouragement, such uh, um, speaking, such prophecies that you have spoken, because the prophecy come to, 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 to encourage us, you know, uh, as the Lord, as we, we, we continue to get into prayer, God start to, to to impress things in our spirit, start to 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 
you give us the spirit of discernment that we are able to discern certain things in our lives. So I believe that through that teaching, through that sharing, certain things has been activated in our spirit. Uh, people like uh, uh, Babe, you know, you're talking about uh, the love for children. She, she, she's selfless. You know, she gives herself. She's a lover. She carries people at heart. She brings people to church. She brings kids to church. But, I mean, for me, I believe that the Lord has really spoken um, uh, tonight. I, I just want to say, um, kindly may you say uh, the last words to these beautiful women who have joined us tonight. You know, what can you say to them? I know you have sent a lot. Uh, maybe it's a prayer, maybe it's a wish, maybe it's a desire, maybe it's a prophetic word. Just general, generalize and just speak to them. And then from there, I'm just going to read one verse that I will encourage the ladies to you know to read it. And then I'm also going to pray and then pray for, for those who have joined us that God, you know, um, help us. So, Sharonda? Yes, ma'am. I have muted the phone so that, so that you can hear the back. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, um, I'm just going to um talk very briefly because because now i'm a little tired now. thank you um, yeah i think it's just a minute because we're only left with three two minutes <laughs> okay so um um know that god is with you um I, I i speak um that this week these uh will be a week of impartation a week where god will reveal himself new to you expect god to reveal himself Ex expect God to speak to you Ex expect the unexpected and you will find I speak that you have favor with God and men I speak that um, your bosoms shall be filled your barn shall be filled I speak um, shalom over you I speak peace I speak that this that this word of impartation um, take root and take residence in you and that you will grow and bear fruit off of what you had that you will not only be a hearer but a doer I charge your spirit to be bold after tonight, to be bold women of God that you are, to um, possess everything that God has for you in this season, and that you can win. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you so much, Apostle Sharonda. May mm -hmm. the Lord bless you for blessing Amen. us. You know, it's good. The distance is not a barrier. It doesn't matter where you are. You are able to speak to us, to encourage yes. us. And I want to say to the ladies, uh, uh, the scripture that God has given me, it's Isaiah 43, verse 18, which says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is my encouragement to you, that God is doing a new thing. We say it's a new normal. We say it's a new season. You know, we are doing things... Um, over, over over technology and i mean we have been doing things like this it's, it's a new thing know that god is doing a new thing in your life like uh, apostle sharonda she has been saying you know sometimes when you are in a difficult situation you get to be still you get to stand still and to ask yourself will you break through will you will you make it know that god is doing a new thing that gift that we have, that prophetic gift that we have, that which God has given more that is a new thing and ask God to reveal even more new things in your life. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Go back to your room and tell God, God, I'm ready for a new season in my life. I'm ready to pray prophetically. I'm ready to declare things and they will come to pass because your word is faithful. Your word is true. In the mighty name of Jesus. May we just pray in your heart, wherever you are in your room. Let's just pray briefly. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you. You're such a beautiful God. We thank you, Father, for the word of encouragement. Thank you, Father, for speaking to us, oh God. We pray for those who do not know God. We pray for those who are discouraged, oh God. And Father, may you encourage them, oh Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray the 
spirit of God. May it revive their spirit, oh God. Let there be revelation. Let there be revival, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Apostle Thank Sharonda. You. Thank you, ladies. No problem. No problem. Love you. Love you, you too. Thank you so much Love for the opportunity. Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. God bless amen. you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ladies. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for joining in and keep inviting somebody to be blessed. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Bye bye. 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 Just bye a minute, bye. Apostle Sharonda. Oh, I'm still here. Okay. Thank you, ladies. I'm still here. Okay, I'm here. Orle Apostle I am she's not saying anything, so I think we might talk about something. Yeah. We can't can't hear you. Hey ladies, I would say thank you so much. Oh, okay. Can no I'm waiting. Oh I'm oh 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 Sorry. Uh, end the meeting, ladies. End the meeting. Okay. Love you. The Lord bless you. Amen. Yeah. End the meeting. Is it you? Yeah, coming. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think everyone's gone now. Everybody's yeah. gone now. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's a lot of people so on there. Much. Thank you for the words. Thank you for the words.